Tunubu is now doing the same thing Buhari is doing on another level and the north is angry. Now they are now feeling the pains the southeast have been feeling over the years. Neglect. Not allowing the southeast be part of the national kick. Depriving the southeast of their rights. Now just within one year, the north enraged you. Now they are calling Tunubu a one-term president. Hello everyone and welcome back. My people, interesting days ahead. Yes, so, so there is this a tribal war that is going on between Yorubas and the Northerners. Yes, so serious one, my people. To this extent, the Northerners are calling Tunubu one time president. So today, the ex-governor Erufai son, this is what uh, he sent to Tunubu. He said, nobody is too big to be elected out of office by the people. It will happen, and Walai, nothing will happen. So forget all these intimidations flying up and down. Let us be patient. Even IMF and World Bank no go self on at that time. Political strategist owner. That one now for Lagos. Hey, hey. So my people, Northerners are pushing this agenda that Tunubu is going to be a one-time president, and that is going to happen. Hmm. So you guys know that uh, before Yorubas, you know, have been fighting Igbos, you know, this uh, tribal war that's going on between Yorubas and Igbo, especially after and during the election 2023. You guys saw what happened in Lagos, what uh, Yorubas did to Igbos. Yes, my people. So even one of the APC supporters, Hawa, she's now confessing that most of the people that we are attacking P2B and Igbos, we are paid. Even up to now, people that even attack attacking Igbos, they are on payroll, like every month, they normally pay them, so they need to do their work, that's why when you go to the air space, you see all this uh, tribal war, you know, even everything that Yorubas are doing, they must put Igbo inside, you know, they must bring something that they will use to criticize the Igbos, even this war now that is going on between Yorubas and Northerners, Yorubas are still bringing Igbos into this nonsense, honestly, like these people are something else, I'm not saying all the Yorubas, so it's not all Yorubas, it's all only those people that they are using tribal war, tribal sentiment, you know, to divide us. Yes, my people. So that is what is going on, right? Because Northerners have found out that this Tunubu administration is not favoring them. That's why they are running her task. <laughs> they have never seen like half of what Igbos have seen in this country called Nigeria. My people, let me allow you guys to watch this, our brother, and hear what he said about all this matter that is going on between Yorubas and Northerners. And I'm going to be back. But before then, please, if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Like this video, share it so that other people can get opportunity to watch as well. Thank you everyone for watching. So my people, let's go ahead and watch the video and I'm going to be back. The current realities we are facing today, there is a cold war between the Southwest and the North. I repeat, there is a cold war between the southwest and the north when you go on social media there is a bitter clash between the northern people and the southwest let's say the yoruba Ronu movement and the arewa people's congress there is a gang up against bola Tunubu in the north this is not news anymore they are calling the president a one-term president one-term president has angered that statement, one-term president on Bola Ahmed Tunubu has angered the Southwest vis-a-vis all -vis things that is being said against the president. There's serious fights, there's serious clash going on. And it is going to favor who? It's going to favor the Southeast, the South-South. I remember the Southeast, they are calling for a separate state of Biafra, South-South Ijo Nation. So this fight between these two elephants, supposed elephants, is going to be beneficial to the southeast. Now, the bitterness going on between the southwest and the north is as a result of the fact that Tinubu has not gotten the north so much involved in the kind of power they used to get involved in over the years. Look at what is happening to the BDCs, how the north is losing when we talk about the foreign exchange. We want to talk about the Burundi change. The North, the North is losing billions of naira every week. This is a privilege they had 
over time. But Timbo has come and put an end to that. Look at the appointments. The Southwesterners are everywhere and it has angered the North. So once again, the powers of the North is being reduced by a Yoruba Muslim Muslim ticket president. The North, they are surprised. They are regretting that they voted Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that they brought Bola Ahmed Tinubu into power. When you look at the last elections, he did not come into power through the Southwest votes. He came into power through the Northern votes. The Southeast, they are already made up their mind. They already know where, where they stand, even when it comes to election. If they are going to select or they are going to vote, elect anybody, it is not going to be an APC for the Southeast. The Southeast, when it comes to presidency, detests the APC. Whether presidency or governor, they detest the APC, irrespective of the fact that we have two states in the Southeast that have APC as governors. The Southeast have a stand already, no to APC. The Southwest has a stand already, no to APC. They are all aligning to either the Labour Party or the PDP. Now, the North is having a reverse support for Atiku or any other person. North Tinubu. The North is having a reverse support. They are coming together to gang up against President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the Southwest uh, Renew Movement. The Southwest Conservatives are telling them that nothing will happen. Tinubu is going to return come 2027. As somebody who is fighting for freedom, equity, and justice, uh, it's going to be an advantage to the Biafran people. It's going to help Biafra come faster. As these two people fight and bitterness and rage amongst them, Biafra is going to come faster than ever. Gigantic politicians are going into their cells in the north forming alliances against the Jagaban of Nigeria. Some people are saying that I support Jagaban. Some people are saying that I I say Jagaban will defeat them at the end of the day, but it will lead to the balkanization of Nigeria. The North have not been showing this loyalty. They have not been showing that they are good friends. They are people that need to be relied on because I remember the Southwest have been defending Buhari, irrespective of the fact that Buhari has been doing all sort of rubbish. The Southwest have been defending Buhari. Buhari appointed most Northerners into his cabinet. The Southwest did not complain. But now it's the turn of Bola Tunubu, who said he was going to step into the shoes of Buhari. They never knew the meaning of Tunubu stepping into the shoes of Buhari. Tunubu is now doing the same thing Buhari is doing on another level and the north is angry now they are not feeling the pains the southeast have been feeling over the years neglect not allowing the southeast be part of the national cake depriving the southeast of their rights now just within one year the north enraged you now they are calling Tunubu a one-term president but the Southeast over the years have been suffering. The Southeast over the years have been patient. The Southeast over the years have not really said anything. That is why they are calling for a separate state of Biafra. And people are angry that the Southeast are calling for a separate state of Biafra. Look at what is being done to the North. It's, it has been done to the Southeast over the years. No Southeastern president we will really have a South South president according to their calculation because I don't believe that there's anything called South South. So it is giving me joy. I'm very happy. One of the most happiest person in the world today to experience what is happening between the Ronu movement and the Arewa People's Congress. I will not join the IPOB because now people are speaking against IPOB. They are this, they are that. Before we had the IPOB, we have already had the uh, Odudu Akbos Congress. So the division of Nigeria has been championed by the Yoruba and the North. They are the ones that have championed the division of the country. OPC Odudu People's Congress and the Arewa Conservative Forum have been there before the IPOB.
So when we talk about people that don't want a Nigeria, a unified Nigeria, in the real sense of it, we we'll talk about the southwest and the north. When I mean the north, I need I look at the Fulani Caliphate and some Hausa and other 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 tribes that have had privilege. These guys have had privilege at positions of power which the southeast and south south may not have had, especially the southeast. So they are the ones that are eventually going to divide the country, going to balkanize the country with this their fight. I love it when they attack each other. Now look at the, the calculations of the Southwest. They are saying that the divisions between the Southeast and the North will give Bola Tinubu victory in the next elections. That Bola Tinubu is going to return as the president. That he must spend his eight years because Buhari spent eight years. The North is saying that it is only the Southwest votes that will contend against other votes of other region. That is to say, the Southwest would have to vote for Bola Tinubu, while the North will vote for Tiku. Now, the, the bride is the East and the South South. And one mistake the Yoruba Rodu movement is doing, the conservative movement is doing, is that they are not playing their politics well. Any little thing, you blame the Igbo man. Any conversation, you bring in IPOP into that conversation. You denigrate the Igbo man, any little thing, and you want to become president. 2023, you want to get the support of the South. The Igbos have made up their mind. The South South have made up their mind. Yet, with every little statement, you refuse to attack the North. You get the IPOB, the South East involved, in any statement, you attack them, you denigrate them, you denigrate them to the extent whereby any any conversation that does not have to do with the Southeast, the Southeast is being brought in by the Yoruba Ronu movement. Any crime committed in Lagos, if it involves a Southeasterner, names are mentioned, but if it involves other tribes, the names are not mentioned in most cases. So there is a calculated plan by the Southwest movement to give the IPOB a bad name amongst its people. Go back to Anambra, go back to this and that. Would not help Tinubu in the next coming elections. So the Southwest is on their own now. How would they? get the votes or the support of other regions that's the question the north is threatening remember the north don't forgive as it were the north don't forgive they have seen the true colors of these southwest politicians the southwesterners they have seen their true colors while the southwest have seen the true colors of the north and this fight is going to continue and nigeria is going to divide by itself According to Primate Ayodele, from the prophecies or what he said about the future of Nigeria, I agree. One of the reasons I come out to do this broadcast is because I've seen that a Nigeria cannot work. A Nigeria, this Nigeria cannot work. Because the generation that is coming or the generation that is here, my generation, have so much hate for their fellow tribal men planted by the politicians, planted by the older generation, and bereft of history. We are not being taught history in our schools to know the right thing, the truth, and what really transpired between these guys. The intention of the older people is to plant hatred, is to plant rivalry between the Igbo, Aosan, and Yoruba. And when these guys fight, you can't tell me that Nigeria is going to stay one. Nobody would have to come and tell any of these tribes that Nigeria is one. At this point in time, we have had pastors, men of God, that said that Nigeria cannot divide. Nigeria cannot bacchanize. We used to hear that statement. The unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable. But it is now changing. 
You know, this statement comes from the benefactors of the commonwealth of Nigeria, those that benefit from the commonwealth of everybody, those that are feeding fat on the, on the nation's treasure. They are the ones that usually come out and say the unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable. Look at what the Sultan of Sokoto is saying. The unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable because they are the ones reaping the fruits of Nigeria against every other person. They are the parasite, like I see the not, as parasites that are milking Nigeria. They are hosted on Nigeria, sucking Nigeria without contributing to that host. So the fight between the Yoruba Ronu movement and the Arewa People's Congress is a good one. It should continue. At least it should get heated on social media. And it will also get heated on the real media. Offline and online, it should get heated. Because, like I said, Biafra agitation, the emancipation of a sovereign state of Biafra is going to come into play. It is a divine arrangement. Anyhow it comes, it will surely come. Tunubu's presidency has exposed the Southwest because the Southwest decided to latch themselves on Tunubu's presidency. It got to a point, if you criticize Bola Med Tunubu, the Southwest will attach themselves to Tunubu if you criticize Tunubu, you are criticizing Yoruba. Me, personally, I don't see President Tunubu as representing the Yoruba people. But over time, they have come to make us understand that Tunubu is Yoruba, Yoruba is Tunubu. So whatever image Tunubu carries, the Yoruba will carry it. So Tunubu has given the Yoruba people a bad image. It is very, very clear now. People are shocked. Are the type of people who come online with Southwest names, people who come online representing the Southwest at what they say, at the hypocrisy, at the wickedness, they are shocked and surprised. So, according to what is happening on online, uh, Erufai, Atiku, teaming up together, Kwan Kwaso, Everybody is waiting for 2027. They are saying, let me see how the Southwest will deliver President Bola Metunubu. Let me see how they have that capacity. How many states in the Southwest? Even in the Southwest, the majority tribe, the second majority tribe will be the Eagles. And the Eagles have resolved that they are not going to support an APC government because I trust their judgment they are supporting the best leaders irrespective of tribe when it comes to politics it goes national politics it goes are not tribalistic it is the southwest that makes it looks like the obedient movement the southwest influencers those that come and say all sort of rubbish online they create an imagery in the minds of nigerians that the obi movement the OB movement is an ego movement. So they are the ones that are making it look as if the egos are being partial in their choice of political presidency. The egos have been choosing right since the onset. The egos have supported Abiola, supported Obasanjo, supported Yeradwa, supported those that have fairly treated Nigeria. But the other tribes have supported a Buhari and supported a Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Not because they are capable, but because of either religious tribal reasons. So the Igbos would not want to naturally vote an APC because APC to them is a virus. So the Southwest is going to even contend. The votes will be splitted. Remember, even Southwesterners and unwilling to vote President Bola Tunubu because of he has disappointed them big time. So, Southwesterners will not vote. Core APC supporters will prefer to be indifferent, sit down and not vote for anybody. They prefer they stay in their house. They, they will not 
want P2P to become president, but they are not going to vote for Bola Metunubu. That's how wonderful they are. They prefer not to vote because their brother has failed. They prefer not to vote for another person. You see, somebody says, even if I'm dying, I will not vote for P2P. You see, the bitterness, the bigotry. So, Southwest Core APC supporters, most of them I've talked to, I've spoken to, saying that they are not going to come out and vote. So, that is a minus for President Bola Metrumbu in the Southeast. The youths are not supporting the APC. That is a minus for President Bola Metrumbu in the Southeast. In the Southwest, sorry. In the Southwest. So, he is in a tight corner. And I believe this will push him to bring in the regionalism that we are all asking for. It will push him to bring the division of Nigeria. He said already that he does not believe in one Nigeria. So let the South and the North continue their fight. These guys are hypocrites. They are hypocrites. They are the, the, the characteriz characterization of the North and South. These people can't be trusted. They are not loyal people. These people, there's no integrity attached to all this kind of movement. They see a bad thing, they support it because of it is their person that is there. And they gaslight you when you hold them. They gaslight you, making you look as if you are the problem. While the real problem we have is the North and the South. They have collectively destroyed the country and they are collectively fighting. North and South have been rotating the presidency since democracy. They have collectively, collectively destroyed the fabric of this country. They have destroyed the unity with the Arewa People's Congress and OPC. They are conservatism. They have destroyed everything. And they want to blame the egos on that. Oh, ma'am, it will not work. It doesn't work like that. God has designed that this country would liberate the Igbos. And if the Yorubas and North want to stay in the one Nigeria, they can stay. But one thing I can assure you is that I trust the Yoruba politicians. Once Biafra has gone, they would never want to have anything to do with the North. That's when they would start saying the truth about the Northern people. But you know, they are lobbyists. They, 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 they kind of know how to play along the lines, play play those kind of thing but in their in the, their inner heart they know that the north the north have destroyed the country but because of they want to be part of the national cake they now say they are playing politics now it is now the turn of the southwest see what the north is doing when the Igbos have been calling out the north since time immemorial you are attacking them because of attacking the north seeing the north for who they are selfish region a region that does not really contribute to the 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 the, 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 the progress the development of nigeria but yet they are the ones in charge and destroying it academically they don't contribute they are in charge and destroying it economically they are destroying it with their presidency and whatever they are in every position security wise they are destroying it now when the Igbo man speaks against the northerner the southwesterner will align with the northerner against the Igbo man because of hatred because of the fact that the Igbos challenged one nigeria in 1967 that's why you see all these things happening that's why you see all this gang up now the people that are ganging up against the Igbos are now ganging up against themselves we are waiting let the south and north continue digging it up let them continue to dig it up and let them never stop until biafra is restored so my people that is it i hope you guys heard what our brother said here like he really spoke very very well just as said dele faro to me said that what will bring revolution or division in nigeria is going to start from the north my people and it is happening like it is happening so that is it i said let me bring this update to you guys to hear what is happening especially among yorubas and northerners as well as to be being a one-time president do you think that is going to be possible mm -hmm. so that is it please leave your thoughts in the comment section just as i said before if today is your first time 
don't forget to subscribe like this video share it as well yes my people i'm going to see you guys in my next update goodbye for now